What's going on guys, Ozio here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today EA have gone ahead and released a new moments card and it is going to be Kula Bali. He's a 98 overall and he's at his new club now, Chelsea. And the stats look juiced. 95 pace, 98 defending, 97 physicals with 85 dribbling and 80 passing. He is a 6 foot 2 player with medium high work rates and he has got 2 star skill moves with a 3 star weak foot. The chem style catalyst is what I've gone for. But honestly you can go for a shadow chem style on this card like even though he's got 99 defensive awareness 99 standing tackling and 99 slide tackling you can still obviously get the heading accuracy and interceptions slightly better so i see a few people going for the shadow but i feel like catalyst is the way because i would rather have the extra long passing and the extra short passing the pace is the exact same on both of them 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed you can't get better the passing stats even without the catalyst it looks amazing. 96 short passing with 95 long passing and 85 vision. Those overtop through balls down the line are going to be amazing with Koulibaly. The dribbling stats look really good as well. 86 agility with 85 balance, 99 reactions, 82 ball control, 85 dribbling and 97 composure. I want to see, is he going to be a player? In game that you have to keep it simple with or can you go for a few twists and turns hopefully he is that kind of player because those, dri those dribbling stats for a center back is looking amazing defending stats look top tier and physical stats there's only one that is a 99 and it's the stamina being at 90 the fact that he's got base 99 strength and 99 aggression is outrageous now the links Obviously, they've changed. He's at Chelsea now. So you can get a nice strong link to Sterling. You get a nice strong link to Mason Mount. You do get a nice strong link to Reese James as well. You used to get a, uh, a good strong link to Mane, but... Yeah, now Mane's moved to Bayern, so you only get a weak link, unfortunately. You do get a strong link with someone like Salah, Varane, and I guess if you move Sane into like a sentiment position, you do get a strong link there as well. So yeah, the links are amazing. I'm going to be playing Kula Bali in one position and one position only, and it is going to be their centre-back position today. You guys can clearly see who I've partnered him up with. My man Varane, the best centre-back in the game. Hold on, though. Can Kula Bali take his spot? That's what we're going to find out today. Let's get into the games and let's see how good moments Kula Bali is. I'm going to send Bay on a run. Let's see what Kula Bali can do with his long passing. Can he send the ball in behind? You know what? All right. It wasn't to the right player. It wasn't to Bale, but it was still a very good pass. Is he going to throw ball that? He might throw ball that. Kula Bali, stay close to him. There you go, man. Just getting out to him nicely and putting in a good tackle. Get that ball for him. There you go, Kula Bali. Hold him off. Good use of strength. Let me go forward with him a little bit. See how he feels on the ball. Quick ball roll. Nice little turn. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Can I go for that gap again? That's perfect. That's the dribbling I wanted to see on Koulibaly. He's not going to get past us. No shot. Koulibaly, stay strong. Look at the transition. Use that strength now. There you go. The commitment. I like that. For a second, I thought Pele was going to get round him, but Koulibaly all of a sudden just teleported right in front of him. I'm going to push here. Koulibaly, can you get that ball? Unfortunately, the ball decides it wants to bounce everywhere, but Varane is there to clear it up. Am I going slight? Nah, he's doing a little flick thing. This is so hard to defend. Sometimes it like glitches through players, but look at Koulibaly. Once again, just using his strength, they get the player completely off the ball. Nah, Varane's all of a sudden started falling over. Koulibaly, can you be there? Yes, you can. There you go. We'll come out of it eventually. I'm going to just keep it going. Ball roll. No, wait, hold on. Nah, I'm doing too much. I'm doing way too much. Koulibaly's out of position now. But Alvarez is there. I'm going to go ahead and push that. Is he going to pass up? He does. Koulibaly's transition is so smooth. Like, he's so fast as well. You can really, like, commit towards certain things and, like, recover really quickly. And he's just going back. He's resetting the play. That's such a good pass. He's probably looking for Messi here. No, he's doing all sorts of skill moves, but you're not going to get around Koulibaly. You know what? Mbappe did well. That's the thing with Mbappe, though. You guys know Mbappe in this game. He always somehow glitches his way through. It's just I honestly thought Koulibaly was just going to completely push him to a side. He kind of did. It's just Mbappe did what Mbappe does best. No pass in that middle. There you go. Koulibaly well played. Go for a quick ball roll. R1 dribble. Look at this, man. I'm telling you guys, Koulibaly actually feels pretty good on the ball. You can go forward with him. You don't need to be scared. You don't need to worry. About him losing the ball. That all started from Koulibaly. Keep that in mind. We've got a corner. Let's see what we can do with Koulibaly. He's brought out the keeper. Near post. Um, I'm going to still go near post, but just like a little bit further out. Hopefully, he doesn't like fully commit the keeper. There you go. Koulibaly wins it. He really got up there. It's just I didn't aim it into a corner, unfortunately. Uh, let's go. 
Should we go back stick? Yeah, let's go back stick this time. I think he's up against like Fio Hernandez. I think that is. Koulibaly. Come on. There you go. In front of the player and everything. Who is this keeper? Who is that? Is that Mandanda? Did you see the power behind that header as well? How has he saved that? I'm going to go near post this time. Come on, Koulibaly. Nah, and then the cross is not good enough. We've done so well. We won the header twice. He's just Mandanda pulling off some wonder saves. I'm going to go ahead and push here. Koulibaly. Oh, my. For a second, I thought that was a foul. Well, he actually got the ball. Come on, Koulibaly, please. You need to score one of these. He's brought him out far again. Wait, hold on. I see This thing is right. I see N'Golo Kante there. So I'm thinking maybe Koulibaly could just get in front of him and just maybe sneak it in. I wanted it a little bit higher. Definitely. I didn't want Koulibaly to uh, shoot the ball with his feet. But hold on. Hold on. Okay, yeah, Varane's there. Look at Koulibaly, by the way. Look at him sprinting back into that centre-back position. That's what I want to see from my centre-back. Just coming from a corner... I want him to sprint back if I end up losing the ball. Koulibaly, unfortunately, couldn't get that. Can he get the block? R9. But Valverde does get there. That's a good pass into Saint. Is he going to give that to R9? He does. I was just waiting for that pass. Koulibaly. Go for a few dribbles with him. That's a good run. That is a very good run. And look at that four pass. I'm telling you guys, his passing ability is insane. No extra pass to R9. No way, Varane. Can you get it? There you go, Varane. Well played. I thought Koulibaly was going to stick out a leg there. It just it seemed like the pass... Was just perfect. I sent Cancelo on a run. This time on his weak foot. On the freestyle weak foot. And it doesn't go exactly the plan. But we still got the ball. I'm going to go back stick. Come on, Koulibaly. Go on, Koulibaly. Versus Varane. Yeah, Varane ends up winning it. I guess it's understandable. Varane is an inch taller than Koulibaly. So, yeah, I guess. Can I maybe go for a fake shot here? Nah, Saint actually gets it. But it's a free kick. Hold on. I took it quick by accident. I might just go for a slight tackle here. There you go. That's my opportunity. As soon as he done that ball roll scoop turn, just a little bit too early. That's when I know to go in. Is he going to go for the cutback? He doesn't go for the cutback. And he's all of a sudden pushing players forward. Kula Bali. Nice header. Give it back to him. Shield off R9. There you go. That's perfect. All we'll around Bale. Calm and composed. Even a roulette. A two-star skill move roulette. And just chip it up to Valverde. Is he going to try to turn near post? He is going to turn near post. And Kula Bali is there to put in a very good block. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing six games with Koulibaly, but unfortunately, we could not score a single goal with him. Mandanda, that's all I have to say. The saves he pulled off are just stupid. Like, you can tell Koulibaly's heading ability is top tier. The aggressiveness to get towards the ball first. The jumping ability as well. He was getting really high up there. And the header itself, that the amount of power was outrageous. It's just Mandanda denied us from at least two goals today. The pace on this card amazing so good quick to get out to players quick to catch up to players as well there was one situation i was in that i thought uh someone actually got past Koulibaly, but then all of a sudden there was just like this burst of pace and Koulibaly caught up so easily and just pushed him out the way so yeah the pace amazing passing ability you can honestly play him as like a ball playing center back as well you don't have to keep it simple you can go for those overtop through balls and they are really good those overtop through balls were spot on near enough every single time so yeah the passing ability amazing honestly you can play this card in at like a, a cdm position if you really want to it's like a holding cdm but i definitely do feel like the center back position is the way to go the dribbling ability top tier didn't think it was anything crazy like it's not obviously as good as someone like Furlan Mendy it's not as good as someone like Gareth Bale right no shot but you can definitely go forward with him you can go for a few ball rolls you can uh, accelerate into the space if you want to you don't have to just go for one turn and pass it away instantly so yeah I really did like the dribbling ability especially in that center back position defending ability outrageous you guys saw the tackles he was doing the interceptions he was doing the fact that he was so aggressive when going into the tackles as well was really really enjoyable to see so yeah defending ability one of the best i have seen in this game and the physicals outrageous he was going up to players so many players and just pushing them out the way like they weren't even there like it was a joke how many players he got off the ball so yeah the physicals unreal as well the price of this card now, Footbin, unfortunately, have not got the price. So I've tried my hardest to calculate it. And I believe it is 180k or like 190k, something around there. Is he worth it? 100%. That is amazing pricing. You guys know 
you can do them for free by doing the 85 plus times 10. There's no need to spend a single coin on this card when you can do that SBC and do Cooler Barley for free. So 100% he is worth doing. Do I believe he is better than Varane? No, I think Varane is better. But there is certain centre-backs that I can definitely say this Kula Bali is better than. Is he better than Chiellini? Yes. And you guys know I put Chiellini in my top three centre-backs, so Kula Bali is already in my top three. Is he better than Carlos? Yes. Is he better than Carl Walker? Yes. Is he better than the main man, Rudiger? These two are very similar. I'm not going to say they aren't. But I'm taking Koulibaly over Rudiger simply because of the fact that Koulibaly has got a unique body type. And trust me, this unique body type in-game, it feels like very bulky. Like, he, he somehow gets his body in the way of every shot. And it's so good for blocks in this game. So yeah, I am taking Koulibaly over Rudiger as well. Which means Koulibaly 100% goes into the S tier. And he is top two centre-backs in this game. It's only Varane. Only Varane. Honestly, he is amazing. He's an absolute beast. So yeah, Kula Bali is second in my list. He is amazing. 100% go ahead and do him. You won't be disappointed. But that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.